Hey there! In this video I want to show you a useful little tool for generating test data. It's called Mockaroo.com. This is a website which you can use to generate test data for any application you might be developing, whether it's a database application or an Excel spreadsheet or anything else. If you've developed any applications, you know the importance of having realistic test data to test out your code with. You don't want any surprises when you deploy the application to your customers or your, or your clients. You want to make sure that you've tested as many different cases as possible, throw as much data through the application, including noisy data, things that might not be formatted correctly, things that might contain strange symbols that you might not expect. You want to make sure that your code deals with it in a graceful way. And for that, we have sites like Mockery.com, where you can specify the exact sample data that you need. As you can see, this is the home page right here, and it starts out with a sample data set with just a first and last name, email, and a couple of other basic fields. And they also provide a pretty good case for why you should use a tool like this, telling you why the test data is important and why it should be realistic. And let's go ahead and take a look at a very basic data set. Let's start with the one that they have right here. You have a row number which is going to generate a sequential number for each row and you have the field names which you can change as you need to. You could say row ID instead of just ID. We can change these to first name and last name. You can change the order of the columns. Grab and drag it and move up the move it up there. And over here under options, but first first let me take a look at the type. We have many types. They have 143 different data types that you can use of all types. You have even things like animal names. Let's see, we have booleans, boolean values, car models, car makes, and years, cities, countries, credit card numbers, fake credit card numbers, hopefully, currency codes, we have even drug names, brand names, drug companies. Let's scroll down through a few more. We have the first names. You can specify the gender for first names and even the nationality to a point. You have hexadecimal color codes. That might be useful. You even have Chinese given names. And we have some specialty fields, some specialty codes. You have job titles, LinkedIn skills, and even some entertainment fields like movie genres and titles. You have the phonetic letter names like Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, etc. You can use those if you want. You have random paragraph text. If you have a memo field, something that is just generating or just containing a large amount of text, you can generate random paragraphs for that. And we have a few others. We have, like I say, over 140 different types of field names that you can use for pretty much any application that you need. And you can also specify how often the fields will be blank. Like under here, email, let's say 10% of the emails are blank. The people just don't have them. Let's say under row ID, I don't want it to start with one. I want it to start with 101. So we can come over here to the function or the formula field. And in this case, we would say this plus 100. And you'll see how that works in a second. Mockery has its own formula syntax. 
they have an entire help page where you can see the various functions that are available to manipulate some of these some of this data as you're generating it so those are the basic settings that you can set for each field of the data and I'll go ahead and click apply on that so right now we have several columns and let me go ahead and preview that click preview and you can see where it's starting the row ID at 101 as I specified it's really just starting with one but it's adding a hundred to each value so it gives me the row ID starting at 101 and you can see that it's accepted the field names that I asked for and if we take a look at the actual output that it's going to give us in this case CSV or comma separated values you can see how the data is actually going to look and let me go ahead and close that and then if I want to download the data I just click download data and it would save it wherever I wanted it so I'll go ahead and click Save so that's saved that to my data folder and let me go ahead and bring Excel over here and we'll go ahead and import the text file that I just downloaded text CSV mock data and you can see it recognizes the data Go ahead and click load and it loaded the data just fine so you can see that it's actually given us a thousand rows of sample data so that's the data within Excel so let's go back to mockroo.com and let's take a look at some more possibilities you can always add more fields let's select the type first and let's go ahead and add the actual address street number and street number the street address or let's start with the street name first and let's go with street address actually that combines the number and the name so let's get rid of these and let's check that out real quick okay so that gives us the street number name and type and let's add the city and to search for a field all you have to do is start typing it in there city and let's go ahead and change that Let's go ahead and state and province. You can specify only U.S. locations. Let's open it up to non-U.S. locations. And if you wanted to, you could restrict the states. And let's see if it has zip codes or postal codes. And there it is. Postal code. and let's take a look at what it's generated preview so it's given us another listing of data and it seems to have given us a nice random list of city and state names it's not showing everything but let's let's go to CSV and it actually has included all that data it seems to have included mostly non-US addresses so let's close this let's actually restrict this to US locations preview 
So that's actually restricted to US. And I, I also did that to show you that when you select both city and state, it actually does match up the cities and the states. So we have Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Denver, Colorado, Cincinnati, Ohio. It's not just picking cities and states separately, it's pairing them and actually creating realistic addresses, although the street addresses might be a little bit off. I'm sure those probably don't exist. Let's take a look at the CSV again, and you can see that Again, we have Naples, Florida, Salem, Oregon, Pittsburgh. So it does a pretty good job of generating that random data. And so far, I've only shown it in Z CSV. So let's take a look at some other formats that you can download. You also have JSON. You have SQL. Let's take a look at SQL. Let's see the preview on that one. Preview and SQL. What that will actually do is generate a lot of insert statements that you can use to insert the data into your database table. So that's pretty useful. You have a custom format. You have Excel. You can download an Excel format and XML. Let's take a look at that real quick. So that's what the XML would look like. So it's actually grouped it into records and you could import that into many different applications. And so you have a number of formats you can download it in and you can also clone the schema. You can clone the set of columns and especially if you have an account you could use this over and over again in different ways. So as you can see, this is a handy little application that can be very useful for anybody who's developing their own solutions. And I highly recommend it. I've used it a number of times in a number of different situations. Again, this is the free level. And with this, you can generate up to a thousand rows for each data set that you define and we have the pricing page here they also have the silver gold and enterprise levels you can generate up to 10 million rows on the gold level and the speed is supposed to be quite a bit faster and it starts under the silver level at $50 a year which is pretty reasonable if you're doing a lot of application work and a lot of testing and you need quite a few rows if you need that that many rows for a, an application then fifty dollars a year is quite reasonable even five hundred dollars a year if you're working through a company and if they're willing to pay that for your developers then that's quite a resource that you can use and they also advertise that you can install this application in your own private cloud and you would contact them for pricing on that so that's Mockaroo, and uh, again, I highly recommend it. I've been very pleased with the website, and uh, I would definitely recommend it for any testing that you need to do. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to like and subscribe to be notified of future videos. You can also find more information on my website at camosoftware.com. Have a great day.